video, we just want to look at the basic navigation within Oracle Fusion applications and look at some of the features that we have. So from the login page, you enter your username and your password and you click on the sign in button. And this should bring you this should bring you to the login page with the sign in and you can see uh, the page displayed on this screen. Now this page is actually called the welcome springboard, which contains icons that enable you to access the applications directly. There is a global area at the top of the screen and this global area is always displayed no matter which page you are in Fusion applications. You have details about who you logged in as and this gives you access to some settings and actions and this is on the right hand corner of the screen. You also have an icon that shows you the help, help information. You have access to an icon for accessibility where you can set accessibility preferences. You can also access preferences also through the personalization menu found under your username. I've mentioned the help icon, but it's worth mentioning as well that when you toggle the show help icon, there are certain pages that have access to help information. And when you toggle this icon, it gives you access to the help related topics from the actual page that you're in. You've got the notifications bell and this gives you access to notifications that you can act upon and you can see your pending notifications and all the other uh, notifications that you've acted upon in the past. You've also got an icon that gives you access to the watch list. Um, this will be explained later on in the course. And you've also got um, re access to set up uh, favorites and have a look at some of the recent items. You have a search icon in the global area and this lets you run a quick keyword search and also navigate to the page that you are looking for. And then you have the home icon. This brings you back to the home menu the home page, which is this page that you have here, and you, which is a springboard. You can get back to this as many times as you want to from the application by clicking on this the home icon. So very quickly, let's have a look at the settings and actions menu. So if I click on my username, that gives me access to my settings and icon. If I want to sign out of the application, I just click on sign out and that logs me out. I can set my preferences this is basically my viewing preferences so i can set my regional preferences from here the number format the date format time time zone can be set from here that's from the regional preferences i can set my language and you can also access the accessibility page from from this icon here that tells you the mode whether you want large fonts um, the, the, the color contrast and also the if you want a screen reader as well as i mentioned earlier on you can also access the accessibility page from the icon on the global page so that brings you back to the same page as well you can also set your password, you can proxies, watch list, and you've got other areas, for example, um, expenses preferences and GL preferences can be set from preferences. So, and for, for personalizations, you can manage customizations of pages, um, you can highlight flex fields, you can even go from here to set up a maintenance if you have access to it. And also you can run some troubleshooting uh, from here as well. If you have 
some issues in certain areas of the application. So I'm just going to click on the home button again to bring me back to the home page. And that just gives you a very quick look at the home page, which is the springboard with all the icons. And very quickly, I just want to show you how to access some of the uh, application areas. So from the springboard, you can have access to the areas of the application very quickly. You can click on the icon and that brings you access to the pages or you can also use the navigator. Um, I didn't mention about this navigator. So this, this, this is the navigator icon next to the logo. And if you click on the navigator icon, it expands areas of the application that you have access to. So for example, if I wanted to go to Payables, I can see Payables dashboard, invoices and payment. And this also gives me access to the same form by using the icons. So if I click on the invoices link, it brings me to what is called the invoices work area. And a work area would display the set of tasks that you can perform within the area of that application. So for example, within invoices, you can see that you've got scanned invoices, recent invoices that have been entered, um, certain holds, certain prepayments. And if you have access to other areas within the dashboard, you, will, you, will, you could actually see more dashboard areas here. For example, if you're an approver, you could see some of the um, analytics about your approvals. If I select on the scanned invoices, for example, and select 17, it will, it will bring back all the invoices that I need to act upon. So you can use this work area to very quickly go to the task that you need to perform. Um, it's telling me that I have, I have some invoices on hold. And it gives me the type of hold. So for example, I've got 128 invalidation hold in this screen. And you can see very quickly what needs to be fixed concerning these invoices. And it tells you how the hold was was um, was put upon the invoice. So here, for example, it's saying that the invoice distribution, the invoice distributions does not equal the invoice amount. Another area you would normally see within a work area is the task task area. So you've got your icon on the right hand side that opens up a menu, which is a task panel. And you've also got searches, so which allows you to perform searches on uh, various, various types, very quick searches. If I click on searches, it will bring back very quickly what I can search for invoice number or supplier and boom, the data will be displayed. So that's a very quick way of searching. And if I click on my task, I'll be able to see additional tasks I can perform. For example, from this screen here, I can create an invoice and um, do my accounting, run my accounting, create mass additions for assets, and also manage my payables periods. I've also got an icon here that allows me to perform some reports and analytics. So if I click on the icon, it will show me um, the type of reports that I can run. So if I expand that very quickly, I can see reports, posted invoice register, payment register, uh, spend analytics. So very quickly, it can give me access to, to reports. So I'll click on the icon again, and then a, the task panel will actually go back to where it was. So let's look at an example of an invoice. So I'm going to click on the task list again, the task panel, and I'm going to select my manage invoices. Just want to search for an invoice that has been created. And, and you've got here a, a search page. And in my search page, I have um, different ways of searching. I can, where you've got the two asterisks, that means that at least one of these fields has to be entered. And I can also have my saved searches, and this allows me to very quickly retrieve 
data based upon some search criteria. I've also got the advanced icon that allows me to put in additional fields and also change the way I perform my search. I've got certain variables here. I can say I want to search for um, data that does not contain, as an example, or equals a specific value. So I'm going to search for a supplier, a supplier called advanced. And if I actually say starts with, just to give you an example, starts with advanced. And if you notice there was a red circle there, let me just show you the red circle again. And that's because very quickly is saying that there isn't an, there isn't a supplier called advanced and it's done the search very quickly to find out it's an invalid value and you can see this error messages appearing where you've entered data in a field uh, which is invalid so if i say starts with i'm going to bring back all the supplier that starts with advanced i'm going to say supplier number starts with one and i'm going to click on search so it's giving me a list of all the invoices for supplier called Advanced Corp. I could, if I knew the supplier name, just type in the full supplier name, or I could say um, equals, and I could say Advanced and click on Tab. And what that will do, let me just remove this one. And if I click on Search from here, the search icon. I could say that I know that the supplier starts with advanced and I just want to search for that supplier on its own. So start with advanced search and I could say that this is my supplier, advanced corp, click on OK. So if I know that it starts or the name of the supplier, I can search for the supplier first, put in supplier or party equals and let me just remove this and then click on search and that will bring back the same same data so that's actually a quick way of um, very quickly viewing my invoice data so I'm going to select one invoice here um, that has already been paid so if I click on the invoice invoice number or the link you can see very quickly that it's telling me that um, it's validated, gives me some other information about the invoice. And if it needs approval, you can approve from here, pay in full as well. But this has already been paid, so I'm just going to click on the link. And I've also got some information about the invoice on the right hand side as well. So this gives me more details about the invoice. And just to show you a bit more. Now, on the left hand side of the screen or the main part of the screen, you have the local area. Is, this is called the local area and on the right hand side you have what is called the contextual area the contextual area for very quick summary about the invoice and then the local area is where you would normally would work in when you're editing an invoice or entering information about an invoice you can also collapse this contextual area if you want more space on the screen to see the data um, if I click on collapse pane it gives me more information and I can expand my pane as well and click on lines to see the details so I can see the line information taxes on the invoice so you have tabs at the top of the page and gives you access to more information if there's an installment you'll see the installments and that's in terms of payment and you can always go back if you want to edit, post a ledger, account in draft. So I'm just going to cancel this. And that's just giving you a very, very quick overview of uh, what the Oracle Fusion looks like and some of the functionality of using the application from a navigation perspective. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.